Now we're gonna look into upper body defenses and counters. Again, I have my good friend Ernie to help me with this. Ernie's gonna throw traditional jab cross. Ernie throws a good jab, a good cross. Good, step back please. Good jab, good cross. Good, step back one more time. Take note of how Ernie's body's postured, how he's stepping and sliding. Good jab please, good cross. Good, now, this time I'm gonna defend Ernie's punches. I'm gonna use classic parry defenses. Ernie's gonna throw a jab. I throw a left jab. With my right hand, I'm gonna intercept his hand here and push it out of the way. Just barely gonna tap it, just enough to make him miss. I'm also gonna move my head to the right side, just barely out of the way. So in case I miss with my parry, my head is still out of the way where I don't get hit. So one more time, Ernie throws a jab, and I parry it to the outside, or the inside rather. He throws a jab, I parry. Same concept with a cross, don't make it too complicated. Ernie throws a cross, this time I'm gonna parry with my left hand. Move my head just off center again. Good, again, good, again. Okay, we'll spin around, taking a look at another angle here. My friend Ernie throws a jab, a left jab. I parry with my right hand. Again, barely moving my head off center, such that if I miss the parry, my head is still out of the way. One more time, please. Good, again, same concept of the cross. Don't make it too complicated. Ernie throws a cross, I'm gonna parry with my left hand, my front hand, and move my head just off center. One more time, nice, and one more time. Good, so switch around. Those are our counters, or those are our parries. Now we're gonna counter punch. We're gonna do the same combination back to Ernie that he did to me after catching the punches. He throws a jab, I parry, he throws a cross, I parry, I throw back jab, cross, and we reset the drill. Throws a good jab, good cross, I counter jab, cross. One more time, please. Jab, cross, good, switch angles, please. Simple stuff, and again, the body sponsorship should absolutely be there. Our body should look roughly the same because we're doing roughly the same things. So, Ernie throws a good jab and a good cross. I counter jab, cross. One more time, please. Throws a jab and a cross. I counter jab and a cross. One more time, please. Jab, cross, I counter jab, cross. Now we'll move on to the next combination. It's a jab, cross, hook. So again, I wanna make sure that my partner is throwing the jab, cross, hook correctly. So what I'll have Ernie to do is throw a jab, cross, and hook coming to me. Jab, cross, and a good hook. Step back, please. Good jab, good cross, good hook. Very nice. Okay, let's turn around one time real quick. Again, please, jab, cross, hook. Very nice. Again, jab, cross, hook, please. Beautiful, good. There we have the punches and how they're supposed to look. Let's look at the counters. And we talked about this, we touched on this last time. We're just gonna add one. It's a very easy one to add, very natural feeling. So Ernie throws a jab and a cross. I'm pairing, he's gonna throw a left hook. All I'm gonna do, guys, is cover the hook. It's jab, cross, hook. I'm parrying, parrying, and covering. One more time, nice and slow, please. Jab, I parry, cross, I parry, hook, I cover. One more time, please. Jab, cross, hook. One more time, please. Jab, cross, and a hook. Good, let's switch around right quick. Good, so again, Ernie's throwing a jab, I'm parrying, a cross, and I'm parrying, hook, I'm parrying. It's important that I maintain a good stance, especially when he's throwing, uh, uh, if it's a big left hook, and my, my feet are too narrow, it's very easy for Ernie to throw one and knock me right off balance. Not what I want to have happen. So again, movement is integral here. What I want to make sure I'm doing, just like Ernie's feet are, my feet are square and about shoulder width apart, and I'm anticipating the punch is coming. Ernie throws a jab, a cross, and a hook. Good, I'm in a good stance. No way to budge me. Again, one more time, please. Jab, cross, hook. One more time, please. Good, very nice. Now we're gonna move on to the last combination. It's gonna be a jab, a hook, and a cross. And I'm gonna incorporate more covers. So I have my friend Ernie. He's gonna throw a jab, good jab, a left hook after his jab, so resets his body, and a cross behind that. Good, take a couple steps back, please. Very nice. One more time, a good jab, a good hook, and a good cross. Good, one more time, please. Good jab, a good hook, and a good cross. Notice how Ernie resets his body after the jab. It's not a natural motion. So what he does, he'll throw his jab out, throw your jab. He'll reset his body and, and reposition for the hook. He'll pivot, bang, there's the hook. And that sets it up very naturally for a cross. Good, good, good. Here are my defenses. So Ernie throws the jab and I parry that. He throws the hook. I cover just like we did. He throws a cross and I step and cover that one too. Okay. So my, my friend Ernie throws a jab. I parry just like we did before. He comes with the left hook. I cover, comes with the right cross and I cover. Very, very similar to the other cover. Turn my body and shield it. One more time, please, Ernie. Jab, good, hook, cover, cross, cover. Good, let's switch around right quick. So we have a good look at that one. Okay, Ernie throws a jab. He throws a hook. He throws a cross. One step back, please. One more time. Jab, nice and slow. 
repositions and pivots on the hook so it's a powerful punch yet, and a cross right behind that, nice. So again, here are my counters. Ernie throws the jab, I parry. He throws the hook, I cover, he throws a cross, and again, I cover. One more time, please, my friend. He throws a jab, I parry, here, cover, here, cover. One more time, please. Jab, cover, and cover. Thanks, sir. Those are the upper body defenses and counters.